Hi, I want to show you some of my family's favorite Usborne and Kane Miller books. The first one I want to show you is All Better. This book is amazing. It has reusable stickers. You just look for the band-aid at the beginning that matches the animal that you are reading about. So I'll get the dog sticker and peel it right off. And then you clean it, kiss it, put a bandage on it. All better. And this book has these reusable stickers that you can stick again and again. They almost feel like magnets, but they're stickers. And they are so amazing. Your kids will love this story. Putting them on again and again, helping the animals to feel all better with these reusable bandages. And if they love this book, you're going to want to check out Little Bernie's Glasses because... That has reusable stickers as well with different shape and color glasses um, to help Little Bear find the perfect glasses for him. Love You Who is an adorable I Love You story. And all through the book, the mom owl tells the baby owl how much that she loves the baby. So um, they snuggle and they talk about how no matter what happens, they will always love each other. It's just this really sweet story that basically says that no matter what happens, they will always be there for each other. You're definitely gonna wanna add this one to your collection. Can I Join Your Club is another great book with a wonderful message. Duck tries to join other people's club and in order to do that, he has to act like them. So he tries out for Lion Club and Elephant Club and all of these different clubs and Duck doesn't ever work out because he's a duck and he wasn't made to be a snake um, or an elephant. And so, Finally, Doug decides to make his own club because he wasn't included. But when he makes Duck Club, he accepts everyone who wants to be a part of his club. And so it turns into our club. And uh, by the end of the story, they've learned that it is so much more fun to just include everyone and be friends with everyone because then we can embrace our differences and we can really um, build strong friendships that way. So I love that book. It's great for teaching inclusion and for teaching you to be yourself. Animally is a beautiful book, um, another I love you book, and it has these great adverbs all throughout. I love you hugely like a whale. I love you shyly like a quail. I love you cleverly like a fox. I love you powerfully like an ox. And it goes through and tells all the different ways that they love their children. And so it also has these great blank spaces where you could use this book at a baby shower and have people write sweet messages about how they love the baby. Or maybe for a first birthday party, they could write a message to the child. So this is a really great gift idea. And then at the end of the book, it says, I love you so for you are my family. And it has lots of diverse people pictured. So this is a really great book for um, sharing how much you love each other. All right, Sleeping Beauty is a beautiful book. It has gorgeous illustrations inside and it has music from Tchaikovsky's Sleeping Beauty. This is great for any princess lover. It has more text on the page um, for a little bit older readers in elementary school, but this is also just a great read aloud for younger readers. And as they read through, they can press the buttons and they can hear the music. So this one is one of our favorites to read together because it just has beautiful illustrations, beautiful story, beautiful music. We love the That's Not My books. They are so perfect for young children, babies, toddlers. That's Not My Fox is one of them. And it has these great textures you can feel. It has predictable text and high contrast images. This one's That's Not My Fox. Its back is too soft. And then you turn the page. That's Not My Fox. Its nose is too rough. And then you get to the end and it says, that's my fox. Its tail is so fluffy. And you can feel all the different textures throughout the book. And again, children can read these because the text is predictable. There's a so Mouse About that. the House is one of my children's favorite books. They love to read this book again and again. You take your little mouse out of the slot and he follows the dotted line. And he goes through the hole on each page. And then he continues his journey on the dotted line. And he follows each little slot onto the next page. So, past the cat, through the pantry door, and then through the food. There's flaps you can lift. You just follow that dotted line. It's a great interactive book all the way until the end of the story, and then he nearly escapes from the cat. So, really fun, really cute story um, that your children will really love. We love the Peek Inside of Fairy Tale books. There are four books in this collection right now. The newest is Sleeping Beauty, 
We also have Little Red Riding Hood, Beauty and the Beast, and Cinderella. All of these books have beautiful, vibrant illustrations. There are flaps that you can lift. There are laser cutouts um, where you can peek through and see different illustrations throughout. Here's one of Cinderella's transformation into her ball gown. Um, just tons of beautiful pictures inside as you um, go through that classic fairy tale. If you have a princess lover in your home, you need these books. They are absolutely stunning, and I know that you'll love them. Our favorite book by far, though, is Nibbles the Book Monster. This is Nibbles. He is a cute little book monster who starts out contained at the beginning of our story, but you find out that he really loves to eat books. And so he eats a hole in the page of the book, and you follow him through the story to try to capture him again so he doesn't continue to nibble through stories. He eats his way through Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and so the story changes a little bit because now there's a monster in the story. Um, through Little Red Riding Hood and through Jack and the Beanstalk until finally you think that you have nibbles contained. But then you start to hear little nibbling sounds. And when you open the last page, you find out that Nibbles has escaped through the back of the book and he is going to eat through more books on your bookshelf. So this is a really hilarious book. My children love to read it again and again. They wanna know all about the adventures of Nibbles. So I highly recommend this book. I hope that you find some wonderful books for your family.